Welcome back to Pet Food Forum TV. I'm your host, Kristen Levine, and we're here at the Kansas City Convention Center where the show starts today. And joining me is my special guest, Dr. Emma, Dr. Emma Birmingham. So your presentation today is about uh, biologically appropriate pet foods. Tell us a little bit about that. So we're going to um, talk about the the um, history of cats and dogs, the evolutionary history of cats and dogs, and why people might think um, feeding biologically appropriate diets is appropriate. Um, so biologically appropriate diets are what we consider to be diets that are high in animal proteins and animal fats. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to discuss some of the initial results we have um, around feeding these diets to our pets and understand them in the context of the, um, of the overall uh, nutrition of the pet. So what, it, um, what cats and dogs need um, in terms of the nutrition and what these diets are supplying. So why study biologically appropriate diets in the first place? A lot of people have a, a belief about the, um, the evolution of our cats mm -hmm. and dogs, so dogs um, evolving from wolves for example. And so um, from this there is a, um, a bit of a philosophy or an innate belief if you like around what we should be feeding our pets. But there's actually very little science to support that. So what we're trying to do is understand um, what our pets need in terms of nutrition um, and then look at uh, what the, 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 the wild cat might eat in the wild, for example, so the, um, to try and understand the, the difference between the two. What's this, what is the evolutionary span of time in which a, a, a pet's dietary needs would change? Do well, we know that? No, I don't think we do. Um, certainly when we look at the genome of the cat, and this is research done um, by, by people other than myself, mm -hmm. we, un we know that uh, genetically the cat is very, very similar to the lion and the cheetah and the tiger, for example. When we look at the dog, it's a lot more complicated. So while there are um, huge similar similarities mm -hmm. between dogs and wolves, there are a couple of metabolic adaptions that have occurred that suggest that a, a dog is certainly not um, a wolf necessarily. Mm. Um, so what we're trying to do is look at the nutrition and understand how um, feeding your dog like a wolf right. might actually impact the dog's health. <laughs> 